Hello, welcome to Database of the Week. I'm Todd Quinn from the University of New Mexico University Libraries. This week we're covering SciFinder. SciFinder is the key resource in the discipline of chemistry. Once you're into the database, you have to create an account. You can do a search here. There's options here at the top. You can search for immediately from substance, reactions, references, and suppliers, or all at once. So, for example, if I did a search on benzoic acid, actually I've already done the search in sodium benzoate. I did a search under references. So here I get a list of articles, among other things, and I can select any one of them. I can use the left bar to minimize my results as well. I can immediately switch over to reactions by selecting all results or substances by selecting all results. And here are the results from reactions. And again, I can use the left bar to minimize my results. And you'll notice all kinds of information here in the center. And the same thing for substances. I can use the left bar to minimize my results, but under each one you'll notice that there's so many references and suppliers, etc. So there's lots of information here. Also, when you do a search, even from the beginning, you can draw using th these tools. So you can draw an individual substance, you can draw reactions, you know, all kinds of stuff, and you can even do a search by number. So there's lots of content here to help you with um, searching for various aspects of substances and reactions. Another thing you can do once you get results, you can select the knowledge graph. And the knowledge graph shows you the connections between various substances and concepts. So if I select a concept, you'll notice the little blue circles. That's, that's the connection. And then it gives you more information and you can select the number. And if I wanted to look at just concepts, I can select the concept and show the connections as well. So there's a lot of resources here to help you find uh, the content you need with this tool. Also, when you're on this page, if you go up to a little icon where your name is usually, you can select help and support, and that provides you all kinds of ways to understand, better understand how to use this tool for your research needs.